welterweight division matchup. Ready. So the fight is now underway on one side of the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Can be interesting to see how long he can keep it up. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful body kicks. Oh, beautiful slip and counter there by Rafael Dos Anjos. Yeah, he mixed it all up. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Nice hook land. Defense there, oh, huge there. block for him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Nice punch lands over the top. Slips the punch. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. Oh, that's a nice strike. Another shot lands upstairs. Another shot to the head. Trying to establish that jab once again. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. And he caught the kick. And they separate. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot. He will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh! Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Punch land. Oh! He blocks the punch. Now connects with a right. Big kick lands. He's, he's limping now. Well, 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. That was a thudding leg kick. Right punches there. Nice defense there. Huge block. Just out of range with that right hook. Young man, you gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice punch here. Some nice back and forth action here. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Dos Anjos whips with the left hand. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking oh, these, man. Check these kicks more. You're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check it, check it, check it. All right, so in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Slips that left hand. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice strike. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to half length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. RDA gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rest. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful strike. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh! Use hurts. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got 
gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Seconds winding down in round three. And what a round! All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. And back to his feet. Nice loop and punch. Changes his stance. Kick lands forward there. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. So Sanchez's attempt there is blocked by the... That is it! He got him! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So, somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. Big win for him here tonight, and he made an even bigger statement by getting it by TKO.